Scott Vegeta, who's now with the Browns, said, quote, I disagree wholeheartedly with the discipline imposed. I've yet to hear the specifics of any allegations against me, nor have I seen any evidence that supports what the NFL alleges in its press release. I look forward to the opportunity to confront what evidence they claim to have in the appropriate forum. Until then, I stand by my previous comments. I have never contributed money to any so-called bounty pool, and any statements to the contrary are false. To say I'm disappointed with the league would be a huge understatement. A strong denial. Stephen A., do you believe Roger Goodell? Before or do you I believe the players? Before I answer this question, I have two questions for you, Skip. Number one, was that statement issued, written by a lawyer? Was that a, a, a statement? Was that the player himself, or was that a lawyer speaking on the player's behalf? Just, it just came from him. Okay. So not, that doesn't mean he was a lawyer. I don't know that he doesn't mean No, 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 no. Right. I just want to make sure. I just want right. to make sure. That's one point I make. Right. Number two, was he invited to the commissioner's office to speak on the commissioner's behalf and then refused to show up? Was he one of those players? I, I'm assuming yes. I don't care what they say. It means nothing to me. As far as I'm concerned, they're all guilty. All those players that the commissioner named, as far as I'm concerned, I'm not giving any of them a pass. None of them. Now, I have been on the record, Skip Bayless, in saying you have. that I don't believe that the players deserve as much of a punishment as the authoritative figures in all of this, meaning Greg Williams and head coach Sean Payton, and I really believe that Mickey Loomis, I don't know the man, I have nothing against the man, yep. I just have a problem with the GM of an organization getting lesser of a penalty than the head coach. That doesn't make any sense to me. If you knew about it and, and the commissioner uh, saw fit to suspend you yep. for eight games, why is the head coach getting a year and you're only getting eight games? As far as I'm concerned, he should get at least a year. Now, with that being said, and me acknowledging that the players don't deserve as stiff of a penalty as the authoritative figures enforcing this policy upon them, mm -hmm. if the commissioner summons you to the office and says, I want to talk to you, and you don't show up, it's at your own peril. You know what? I don't care what anybody says about this. I, I, I knew Jonathan Vilma when he played for the New York Jets. Seems like a credible a credible guy, a really good guy. I got no issues with them. I got no issues with any of these players. I don't know them. I'm just telling you that if the commissioner summons you to the office, he is the <laughs> steward of the league. He said, we want to talk to you, we want to interview you about what has transpired, et cetera, et cetera. And you don't show up? I don't want to see all of these statements now when you knew, especially in Vilma's case, when you knew your name was on the hit list and you knew he was coming for you and you said nothing until the penalty came down. Well, I, I want to I see if we can get clarification. It, yes. It, 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 unless I'm remembering wrong, I believe Fujita did meet with the, with the commission. Okay. I don't recall. I don't, I don't, and, and we're gonna, we're I don't gonna, recall. Well, I, I'm, we're going to get Tyler from research, I'm sure is on it right now. Okay. It, it's, it's my recollection that in April... He did meet with the commissioner. I don't have that recollection. And if, right. and if, we'll, and, we'll, we'll track and it down before we finish listen, this. Listen, obviously, if he did, that goes a long way towards modifying my position right. on him. Because he had a chance right. to confront That's right. That's right. But anybody who passed on a chance, Skip, to address the commissioner's allegations and assertions, I have no sympathy for you. And if he did meet with the commissioner, then evidently the commissioner feels he's got some evidence. And I do understand those who are saying, well, you know what, these players are categorically denying this, and we have to take that into consideration. By the way, we now have Greg Williams, or at least a source close to him, saying he obviously met with the commissioner and that the, the league office has misrepresented his quotes to the commissioner and to the officials. Okay. And I'm told that Fujita himself did meet with did the meet. commissioner April 16th. Okay. So there was a meeting there. Okay. He did have a chance. This was obviously before Commissioner Goodell came out with the suspensions. So he listened. But he didn't. And I find, by the way, one last point. I find it very difficult to believe. Let me tell you where they lose me, Skip. I knew nothing. Now, if you say I didn't contribute to it, you know, you say I wasn't a part of it, but you knew nothing. They've been investigating for three years. They warned the organization. You got players basically saying that we were told by Greg Williams and Joe Vitt to lie to the NFL League office. You knew nothing? No, no, I'm not buying that. I'm exactly where I was when we first addressed this issue last Thursday, except I'm, I'm further dug in mm -hmm. because the more I hear, the more I lean toward the player's side. Mm -hmm. They are in full attack mode. 
they're they're in never ever mode. Remember Palmero, oh, and that scares me a little bit. Right. Never ever did I use. He steroids. shook his finger right? and he ended up. Except, are they in Palmero mode or are they in truth telling mode? Because it's starting to come across as, I'm I'm wanting to see some evidence now. I'm with the play. Like show me. Don't tell me right. anymore. Show me. Yeah. And we're going to talk about Anthony Hargrove later saying that he was instructed to lie. And I told you last Thursday, it's very possible that Jonathan Vilma and others who chose not to go meet with the commissioner were trying to observe the locker room code. They were trying to protect the guilty. And in their minds, the guilty started with their coordinator and went up to their head coach and went up to their GM. So, so they just they, they were pleading the fifth, as, as was reported. Basically, they're just saying because they didn't think they were under suspicion. And when they say... I didn't know anything. They mean about contributing to a pool, like like how putting their money up for the bounties. Like they're they're all I think going along with the fact that yeah, there there was a bounty program in place started by our coordinator, but we didn't willingly enthusiastically embrace it as the commissioner has accused right. us of. But they're categorically right. well, denying any said. involvement. Yeah. Right. They're categorically denying any involvement. So they're taking it a step further than you're saying. That's number one. Number two, and more importantly, let, let, let me get a little TV generation on you. You know, I'm, I'm a big, big, big Law & Order fan. I mean, I watch it all the time. I watch it all the time, Skip. And, you know, I watch these guys, and they show up to the district attorney's office. You know, they got to show up there, and they show up there with their lawyers. And when they show up there with their lawyers, okay, they have specific subjects they're willing to address. They hear the accusations leveled against them. You understand? They respond in kind. If they don't want to go any further, the lawyer's right there to say, that's it for this discussion. This is We're not going here, okay? No, oh, we want you to dom this person. Now, maybe we'll give you a pass, give you a lesser sentence or whatever. Oh, we, we will. Then start whispering to each other, say, hey, come in. We'll think about it. We'll get back to you. <laughs> this, is, this is what happens. Now, the way I look at this, Skip, it's just logic here, just logic. Because I'm told, because I've got some lawyers in my family, that that happens all the time. <clears throat> so I guess the way I'm thinking, Skip, is... Oh, you got lawyers in your family. Yes, I do. I know. Yes, I do. I got lawyers in my family. That explains a lot. Oh, that explains I also, you. I also have doctors, okay? And I also uh, have less unsavory doctors, <laughs> too. I mean, what are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> so the, the point that I'm trying to make... You're the product of corrupt <laughs> lawyers and doctors. <laughs> That's all I need to I'm know. I'm just saying, it's like, I got them on both sides of the fence, okay? I yeah. mean, it's family. There you know what go. it is. Yeah. But, but what I'm saying is, if that happens in real life as it pertains to your life being on the line, I'm sorry your career falls just a tad bit lower. You roll up into the commissioner's office with your lawyer, your Jonathan Vilma, your Hargrove, you're one of these, you're Fujita, you're one of these players. I'm here to talk about me. You said I did X, Y, and Z, or you're alleging that I may have done. I am not here to talk about my teammates and the organization. We're talking about me, Commissioner Goodell. You are accusing me. What is your accusation and allegation against me? Because I have every right to bring that to the table. That's all you have to do. I don't want to hear this stuff about some locker room code and all of this nonsense. It's not nonsense. Do you think Vilma no. thought he was going to get suspended no, no. for a yeah. year? I think Vilma thought he was going to get suspended for about six to eight games. I don't. And it ended up being a lot less. Matter of fact, that's what I heard. That it was going to be more, he thought it was going to be less severe, but he knew something was coming down. Okay? All I'm trying to say to you is this. These are things that happen every day. What tell me what is there, what violation is there by getting your lawyer, showing up to the commissioner's office, and defending yourself? They didn't do it. That's why I have no sympathy. Stand up and defend yourself. Wasn't me. You understand? Know Remember Eddie Murphy in a comedy movie? Hey, hey! Wasn't me. Okay. Is it still <laughs> possible in your head, you know? Mr. Lawyer? <laughs> is it still possible that even though they didn't stand up to defend themselves, that they are, in fact, innocent? Something is always possible, yeah. but I would lean towards highly unlikely. Mm. Innocent is not a word I would associate with individuals who did not step up to the plate immediately and address their innocence. You can't come and accuse Stephen A. or Skip Bayless of doing something they emphatically know they're innocent of. Oh, you gonna warn me two months down the line. Stephen A., you got a suspension coming. I'm telling you right now, ESPN is about to come bring the hammer down on you because you did this. What? I'm innocent? Oh, who? Where? 
I got every boss's name. I'm coming to see you. What are you talking about? I'm innocent. I did not do this. None of them did that. None of them. That is not about the locker room. Well, that's not true. Fujita did meet with All the right, commissioner. Right, fine, fine. I'm saying to you, those who didn't do it, there's a reason for that. Mm. There's a reason for that. All right. Protecting. You know, no, protecting themselves because they knew something was guilty. Mm. They were guilty about something.